What else can you make from cardboard? A house, for example. Our channel Lalalu even took care of your cats. Watch our new video right now. This time we came up with something unbelievable. Lisa and Jake don't have any time for jokes. Choosing the project of a new house isn't easy, especially when everyone has a different opinion about a design. Jake wants a cozy closet under a staircase, and Lisa can't imagine a house without a huge bathroom in which you can spend hours. No one cares about a closet. Oh, it looks like the guys are stuck. What if we make a model of a house on our own? It turned out perfect when we were kids. Let's try doing it now. The guys have a lot of cardboard boxes left after parcels. It seems that they can build a skyscraper from them. Or two. For both of them. Now we just have to find Jake in this pile. Construction is pretty hard. What should we start with? Let's get to work. <laughs> First, we build a frame. To make it more stable, we roll thick strips of cardboard into stands. Fasten them to each other using tape. It's important to securely fasten the corners so the house doesn't fall apart before moving in. And wrap tape around the stands a few times so the cardboard doesn't open up. <laughs> Lisa has everything planned and precisely measured. Her brother is puzzled by these numbers. Who said there's no place for experiment at a construction? Well, thank goodness the guys put on helmets. Jake decided to make it more simple. Whoops! He kinda missed it! It happens! These blueprints make you so sleepy. Jake, you can help out with the other half. I'd rather cover the floor. Too bad we don't need it here. But I might as well take a nap while I'm at it. Let's move on to the roof. Mark the size of the side parts of the roof with a marker. Cut them out using a utility knife and carefully even out the cut. It's way better without these notches. Then cut roof tiles out of cardboard. Trace one piece and then use that as a template for the rest. Attach the tiles to the roof frame with strips of cardboard and complete it with a cap on top. Glue a cardboard wall to the stands and fasten the remaining sides with a construction stapler. A frame for the house is almost done. Cut a round window in the attic. You can spy on passerbys from here. Lisa is puzzled about lighting. Should we make windows or leave one side open? Oh, we totally forgot about our baby Lulu. This box will be perfect for a mini cat house. Use a bowl to draw an entrance that looks like a cat muzzle with ears. Cut it out. will come with it. Jake comes back. Who wanted a cozy closet? Sister obviously lost her patience. Ah, I'll be helping you, I promise. We made a cardboard frame from the window in the attic. Let's take care of the front and cut out the rest of the windows. Make cuts right in the frame on the side walls. 
Glue the front windows from the inside and add a frame on top. Make cardboard bricks. Our house is getting more real! We just have to paint it with nice colors. Take a light yellow paint and a wide painting brush. The guys color the outside walls stroke after stroke. We'll paint this curious nose too. Hey! <laughs> paint the roof tiles bubblegum pink. Mmm, you just can't wait to bite it! Our house remodeling is close to the end. The entrance door will be light blue. And this color will look good on the cat house. We hope Lulu likes a light blue shade. And the roof of the cat house will be turquoise. Nope, pink. It's not happening. There you go. There's nothing else they enjoy better than a fight. You guess who won this battle of colorists? But Jake is protesting with his unhappy face. I did let her choose the color of the cat house. Big deal. Lisa made a nice dark blue shade. It's great for defining separate boards of wood on a light door. Paint the texture that looks like wood using a thin brush. Attach 3D glitter letters over the door so it says welcome. We also cut out letters for the cat house. It's custom made. Draw a fish-shaped weather vane. I'm a great artist, don't you agree? Ah, a shark is attacking me. Fine, it's a baby shark. It's time to paint the fish black and install it on the roof of the cat house. Turns out it's not that easy. The fish runs away from its creator, but we won't give up. We start out Operation Ocean Storm and quickly end it. At least the fish is where it's supposed to be. Our house is turning out truly magical. We can't even believe it's all made from cardboard. The guys did such a good job. Our cat Lulu will soon check out her new spot, especially this fish weather vane. Does it point to the kitchen all the time? We also add some shades on the bricks. Now they have dimension. And we painted the frames pink to make the window stand out. Well, our guys are getting ready to move in. Lisa decorated the windowsill with a flower pot to make it cozier. A string of lights inside the house makes it look very magical. Look, this is a dream house. What happened? Where are Lisa and Jake? The impossible happened. Once they got inside, they went back to the times they were kids and were playing in a mini house. All this time, they imagined a dream house that feels happy and cozy, just like in their childhood. But they were too shy to admit it. Kitty, kitty, come here, Lulu. And the size of the bathroom doesn't matter when you can play with your beloved cat. Or you can have a race with a toy car on your knee. Take photos with a camera that only makes pictures in your imagination. And have fun <laughs> only like kids can do it. Lisa and Jake go back to their cardboard home that looks like a whole castle from outside. Never stop dreaming. Lalalu keeps on coming up with the most amazing DIYs for you. 
subscribe so you can see it all! And don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you'd like to have a house like this to hang out with your friends! See you in our new videos!